what's up everybody and what a day what a day so today my van broke down on me yeah we're in the middle of a work shift it just broke on me i was driving probably going to my next house something in my nose i just feel like something in my nose i don't think so i think it's just how the camera is set hold on yeah just i think that's just how the camera is set but yeah broke down on me i was in the middle of the good actually i was in the highway on my way to my next house and it just completely went out all of a sudden i just started making a no type of noise a couple of seconds later i'm like all right i need to pull over i pulled over let it sit for a while started back up made it again drove probably about half a mile down the highway and all of a sudden the battery kicked off on me so now you know, my car is just driving and uh, I'm pressing the brake, trying to get it to stop. It was trying to stop. It was, thankfully I was on the, the part of the highway I'm on is on the side. So it's like, I'm not really going, you know, in the middle of the highway. So I could just move to the side while other cars pass me. I'm basically in the emergency lane driving while other cars pass me. So I'm not blocking them. So I'm just driving and trying to get the car to stop, you know, pressing the brakes. I still got full control of it, of course, but it's just not, you know, it takes a while to stop because I guess the, something's wrong with the brakes also. So I finally get to stop. I'm looking at everything. Nothing's, nothing's smoking. Nothing's leaking. I don't smell nothing. Just my engine lights on and my battery lights on and just won't, won't start. So I, I sat for five minutes on the side of the highway again. I'm like, all right, I need to call my dispatch. Let them know to come help me out. But I'm thinking like, man, where I'm at, in the highway it's hard to describe it's like it's an exit here and there's like another exit it's just crazy so i'm like man i have to get to a gas station so somebody can at least it can be easier to find me so i looked up a gas station probably two minutes away from where i broke down at and i'm like all right let's see if i can make it there for <laughs> in the next two minutes so i started up the car starts um i'm like all right bitch so i'm driving probably doing about three miles per hour in the, on the highway got cars behind me just looking like heck wrong i got my hazards on some people understood some people didn't it was like well they honking their horns and like why are you why is he going so slow on the highway i'm like bro my hazards on my car's about to break down i'm just trying to get to a safe you know area to where it's, it's okay for people to come get me and you know one thing i didn't want to do is to break down the highway and then have people come out to get me the tow truck and now i'm blocking the whole intersection it's just I just know how it feels to be in traffic all day from people who break down. So I'm like, I don't, I don't really want other people to be in traffic all day again to where they want to be. So yeah, so I moved over, found me a gas station off the exit, and just parked and let them know. And that's uh, right now I'm on my, on, they're on their way to come get me. Um, the truck was pretty old. I mean, it's man, it's like a 2013. Ford E series, so it's pretty. It has a lot, some, a lot of miles. I think it has about 155 miles on it, and that's only in probably about what seven years I want to say. So I mean, that's a lot of miles for a Ford. Also, it's, there's no telling who had this before me. This is only my six months with it, and I, I don't think I really did nothing bad to it. I think before I got the van, it was kind of you know kind of not in the best shape, but is how it goes um so yeah so i'm basically parked in the gas station i have a tow truck coming out to come get me and yeah they just basically told me you know get wait for a tow truck grab all the stuff you need because we have a backup car for breakdowns thankfully so they, they have a they have a backup van at the office for when our cars break down we can just use that for the day or until it gets fixed so yeah i got a bag of all my Equipment. I don't got all of it, of course, because it's hard to take all your, your whole van with you. But this is basically the needs. I got my gauges, meter. Um, that's basically it. I really just got my gauges, meter, and a couple of tools. I mean, thankfully, my next call is just a maintenance. I only have one more left. That's the crazy thing. And the one more left is literally down the street from my house. It's probably about five minutes away from my house. So it's like, only if I could get there, if I could just done that and they break down and be at home. And I could just be at home. But Nope, I gotta wait. So we just went for a tow truck. I can actually show you guys how it sounds. I don't know how the audio is gonna sound, but basically when you start the car, I don't know if it's gonna damage it or not, but we're gonna find out. Basically when you start the car, it just makes this noise. Like a type of sound. 
and the engine light comes on and a whole bunch of stuff basically there's no acceleration also so it's 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 a pretty messed up spot but yeah so that's basically where i'm at right now i just want to just record and just tell you guys how you're looking just out here waiting on a tow truck it's hot too i'm gonna have to open up the door lord uh there's the outside of it, man. Nothing wrong with it. I mean, everything was working pretty good when I looked. I'm trying to see if I can find anything underneath. I can't really see nothing. Nothing's leaking. It doesn't really look too bad. I mean, this is old. It's old. We've been through a lot of mileage. But everything else looking pretty good on it. This is crazy. I just didn't know what to do. I'm like, man, do I just go home or do I just still works now they told me yeah we're gonna send a tow truck out here so yeah there's an update on the van though since you know we already talking about how it broke down here's an update so my shelf popped loose uh this this shelf's supposed to be farther back kind of like this one how that's farther back there it's supposed to be hooked up to the wall but that fell off one time a week so we have to get that fixed if they don't just give me a new van, which I mean, they was, they was eventually going to give me a new van. I don't know if this is going to be the final, you know, straw for them to just say, yeah, let's get it or what. But yeah, I'm going to air, air freshener. Everything else has been okay with the van. I mean, here's the up front look. It's kind of packed in here because I haven't really cleaned out my inventory yet, but that's basically how it looks in the upper side I got my refrigerants and stuff and filters and everything i hope the next my next maintenance call don't need filters because huh, you're gonna have to call me back for that later on that's basically that there's the up front look pretty good here's the book i was looking at see it was good that's what's in there got some stuff so yeah, so I've been here for about an hour just chilling, waiting on a tow truck. Our tow company is in Buford, and I'm basically in Doraville, which is about, I want to say about 30, 35 minutes away. So yeah, so they had to come out, and they're coming right now to come help me out, but that's really what we just waiting on right now. So yeah, so I'm basically just waiting here now. Um, it's crazy. This is the first time my car ever broke. To be honest with you, this is the first time my car ever broke down on me. I mean, before I before I worked in here, I had two cars. I had a, a Honda 2002 Civic, which was pretty good. Never broke down on me. And the car I currently have now is a, a, a Accord. And, of course, it's, it's a little bit newer, so it's not going to really have any issues. But other than that, this is the first time my car ever broke down. I mean, it was crazy because I've never really been in a at a situation like that to where a car break down so i'm thinking like man do i do i need to find me a safe spot to park or do i just break down in the middle of the highway and just it is what it is but some just told me you know hey you about two minutes from the, the nearest gas station uh you don't want to really stop up traffic and you know make ruin everybody else's day so i just figured you know let's try it if i mess the engine up some more is where it is so i just figured you know push it up there and i just like yeah let's do it so yeah so i'm gonna wait keep waiting for a tow truck and just meet you guys at the office with the new truck well the replacement truck at least so just left the tow and on my way back to the office uh got my bag everything the tow company is like probably a couple of miles away from the office, so you just walk up this walk up this big steep hill. Oh, somebody's behind me. I see, is that one of my coworkers? I think so. Nope, it's not. It's, it's not one of my coworkers. It's, it's, fuck, gotta walk up this big hill. This hill's pretty big too, and it doesn't help that I got all my tools in this one plastic dicks bag right here. It's not I'm breaking the dicks. That's what she said. Oh, well, that's what he said, technically. But yeah, so dropped it off. And actually, when we dropped it off, they was trying to move it to 
the part where you you know lift the car up and it wasn't even starting just completely went dead sorry my breath man i'm out of shape crazy but yeah so basically i'm walking up to the office now to go pick up the backup truck and go do the, this one last call Whew, oh my gosh almost there boys but yeah i'm gonna just show you guys what that truck looked like see you there all right so this is the backup van and it has no it's a missing window in it what it means backup is it's literally the backup this is actually the pest solution guys van that nobody uses that's why it says zone pest solution so we do pests also yeah, this is basically what I'm gonna be driving the next couple of days until oh man what what is that oh this that's that's water this is basically it let's check out the back at least the back is pretty clean it's not like my van but it gets me he'll get me do looks it smells pretty nice in here though just the back side just got no window I would like to bring that to the hood let's see how long that lasts but yeah so that's basically the van pretty nice it's just not not, not what, I, what I'm used to driving, you know. I'm still kind of curious about what's in that cup, but I kind of want to find out. Uh, but yes, yeah, so I took it to the um, tow place, and it just told me to sit tight. And they'll give my office a call when it's time to pick it up, or if there's anything to be fixed. So I'm gonna just head to my last maintenance. So yeah, basically getting settled dad. Gonna drive this around. Hopefully nothing bad goes wrong. If it does, then yep, yeah, it's, it's that type of day. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like. And if you haven't, subscribe. Subscribe. What is this? Holiday or in the parking pass. I don't know. Um, hopefully I don't have this car too long. But like I said, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. And hey, I'll give you guys an update on my van in the next couple of days if if there isn't any update or if this is just life but yeah thanks for watching i'm out